Hi, welcome to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Got Day Trophy and some tips and tricks on how to complete it. Tips, first one of the ways, always have your special balls at max. Two, hold the early button when in the manual to maintain speed and honestly, don't stress, you will succeed. Starting off at Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 called Warehouse, oh, holy pipe. Uh, it's a fairly easy one, I use the ramp to gain some speed, jump over to the secret room, onto the pipe, grind and then do entire grind over this long ass rail to get the holy sh I do a wall plant to ensure I go back on the ground so I can jump off safely to finish the combo. Next up is school, uphill both ways, I go up the ramp to maintain speed, I jump over to the garbage early, over to the rail, I then hold the X button or A button to maintain speed on the manual to double up on the uh, planter gap. As I land, I hold the manual up this ramp, revert, to maintain my speed so I can continue over to the rail, jump across to the ledge, land it, manual onto this part here, onto the ramp to finish off the combo. Next up is more stairway down, a slightly longer combo, however quite easy. Jump over those stairs to maintain a manual, hold it, go onto the grind, grind part here, only manual, do a late jump, continue the manual. The trick here is to continue grinding, manualing, anything wall ride to maintain the balance. So I head your wall ride here, I drop down, immediately I go over to the side to continue the grind. Hug the right, jump onto the grind, you can jump onto the left side for the grind, but I cont controlled it here. Back on the manual. Make sure you do not lose the manual. Right here, you jump it and continue the manual again. If you wish, you can grind into a wall ride, but I didn't need to do that. Wall ride and then jump at the end to finally get the over a huge stair set to finish the combo. Next up is skate park, windy walkway. Have your special meter up, jump up on top of here, do a jump onto a uh, walkway rail trans. This one's a bit of a tricky part is to hold the manual and jump it straight. By jumping off straight, you get the over the box. And of course you get the wall gap junior jump onto a grind here you can double up on the grind to speed up the momentum and then once you pass this bowl and got the ma a gap go into a manual and then get this transfer to finish the combo next up is downtown down around i go up the ramp to gain some speed i do a transfer to get the cheesy deck gap immediately revert into a manual over the car ollie Jump into the BS grind, hold down the exit as it maintains the speed over this final kicker gap and the last part to make it all the way around. Finish the combo. Next up is downhill jam, teleporter. What? Slightly more tricky, but with practice you'll get the hang of it. I go up this half pipe while having special. I jump a couple times to maintain some speed. I do an acid drop into a revert manual back on the opposite side. The moment you jump off, immediately press start, go on to your stats and reduce your speed down to 5. This will help in the next part as you don't wish to over jump this. So in this part right here, you want to jump it, manual immediately, hold it as long as you can, and then make sure you get the 3 up to all up to 75 feet, and that will complete the combo. Next up is Burnside rolling on the fairly easy. Go up and get the lip trick, go over that little rolling in the hill, which isn't hard. But what you want to do is you want to slow down slightly. Because this part here can be very tricky, and I managed to do it by slowing down the speed. And it's a fairly quick one to end the Burnside one. Next up is Street, Spiral Fountain. It's a slightly longer one, requires a lot of manual and grinding. The idea is to just hold the grind. I jump off right here, slightly early, to obviously allow me not to be in manual and grind all the time. But again, the trick is hold down the X or A button to maintain the speed. As you drop down, grab on the edge of the fountain to finish it. However, I advise jumping off at the end so you don't crash and fail the combo. Next up is personally my hardest one that I struggled with. It's called Roswell Rolling in the Deck. The trick here is you want to keep the special, do an acid drop into a very late boneless. This will help cover most of the gap. Once I land it, I immediately go into a grind to go into the uh, Roswell that ends well. But the idea is to hold the X manual, don't let go, and then I follow the grind all the way and I maintain the grind all the way to get the rolling channel gap to finish this, which I consider the hardest get their challenge. Next up is in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, the hangar corner hopper. Not very difficult. Again, the idea is to get your special because it always lets you jump higher and maintain speed. Acid drop onto this ramp, jump it off to the little light hopper. Again, jump from this light to the next, and then the last light, the third one, and that actually ends the uh, get their challenge. Very, fairly simple easy. Next up is school 2, railing kill. This one can be very difficult, but the idea is to grind it down. I do a wall ride here to just gain some speed to get this ramp down. Hold the manual and stay to the right. This will help you from actually cancelling the combo. Go up to the railing, do a wall, plant backwards so you can spin around, go back on the railing. But the moment you get this gap, jump off, go back onto the manual, and I advise to loop it all the way to the left onto the railing as I've failed the 
combo many times by not doing that. Jump off, hold the manual, and immediately jumping off, hold the triangle to get the final rail. Next up is Marseille, Tour de Riviera. Not very difficult, a lot of grinding and manuals. But the idea is once you've jumped over the table gap, following gap, you land over to the box. You don't have to jump over this table. I did that because it was in the way. The next rail to rail, I advise not jumping off at the end, instead dropping down to manual to get the box to box action and lastly jump over the dumpster on the fat end in order to get the last and final gap. Next up is New York City snack time. This one requires a lot of balancing but once you've done that gap I do the jump because it lets me maintain the speed. Again I jump off slightly early to get these two gaps. Do not continue the grind. Jump off early into a manual. Now take this ramp and do a revert to gain the speed because now you'll be holding the manual for a very, fairly long time. So again avoid the cars. Don't get hit by them. I do a jump there because it cancels my combo if I don't. And then once you hold them until you get over to this final grind to get the Joey Sculpture to finish off the combo and get their challenge. Next up is Venice Beach. From the roof again, have special. Angle yourself slightly so you can get the two gaps. Vent to roof gap and ramp to roof gap. Hold the manual to the edge of the building of the roof. Get into this grind in order to jump across to get the canyon jump. And now do drop. Do not jump off the roof in order to jump on the edge of the table all the way to get he could go all the way. Touchdown combo to finish the get there challenge. Next up is skate street surfing in the port. Not a very difficult one but there could be some tricks here and there. The idea is to grind all the way here. I jump off and I bounce off the tree into a manual. That just lets me keep the speed over this little wall, over the wall. Grind here. Hold down the X or A button to maintain the speed. Jump here if you see yourself slowing down. Again now make sure you keep this one grind all the way around the bowl or it actually cancels it. Then make the jump, finish off the grind to get the final combo. Next up is Philadelphia, flying wheelie. The idea is to jump all the way up here. Again, have your special. I just spin myself around, go on this grind, angle myself so I can jump onto the uh, wires on the corner. Unnecessary to the specials, just the idea is to hold the grind. Jump down here, hold your manual. Again, hold the X and A button to maintain speed. On the low side of this ramp, in order to get the gap or fun box wheelie. Onto the side, planter gap, which gets you the bench gap. Down these stairs, spin to the right, do a wall ride, jump onto this rail here. Grind all the way. Now I jump and grind which allows me to maintain speed as well as keeping the balance in the middle. And finally, finish it to finish the combo and get the, get the challenge. Next up is Boring Banana Bandana. I personally hated this because I struggled with the first gap, but the idea is to have a special, maintain some speed and angle yourself. Now, once I fall down, I'm on a manual. I go up this ramp to be adjacent to the next gap. This helps you go into this rail, jump a bit late to get the gap. Going to a manual. Now, I did slow down. In order for you to maintain speed again, once you finish the manual, is to actually jump and grind again, because it's quite necessary. Now, immediately go right, go up to this ramp, and immediately press triangle or the Y button to get the grind. And do a wall plant back, and once you've done that, it's fairly easy to finish up the final gap, which is up to the stands to get the combo. Next up is Chopper Drop. Now, this is, without a doubt, the easiest one. Honestly, no one should struggle if you have full stats. The idea is just go right to the top, get some special, Bonus if you need to, to just get the 3, 70 feet, 80 feet, 90 feet, and you've just completed the, one of the easiest get there challenge. Next up is State Heaven Intersection. Actually, it should be Skate Heaven. It's a type of mistake. I should actually find my editor, which is me. Anyways, the idea is with a bit of practice, you'll be able to get these gaps with the timing and the jumping. Once you're in a man, you go all the way back onto this ledge, grind it, double the jump to make it faster, and finish off the final get there challenge. That should be your trophy. So good luck, everyone.